So this is another way of looking at microorganisms. So a subset of microorganisms are found in association uh, with uh, the bodies of other organisms. And these would be described as normal flora or normal microbiota or the microbiome of an organism. And in fact, we'll get to this more when we get to the ecology chapter, but you can talk about these interactions, these um, symbioses as they're known, uh, in terms of how much the host organism is being harmed by these associated organisms, associated microorganisms. And in a mutualism, the host is actually benefiting from the interaction. In a commensalism, the host neither benefits uh, nor is harmed, and in parasitism, uh, the host is harmed. In, in, in all these cases, the, the symbiont, the, the smaller organism, uh, is in fact benefiting from it. They're, they're, they're having a place to live, they might have protection, and they also have food that they're getting from the, uh, the larger organism. So under parasites, or, or in terms of parasitism, you have a whole slew of different things. You have ectoparasites, these could be arthropods, insect-like things that uh, live on the outside of our bodies. Uh, we can have uh, a, a parasitic worms, or helminths as they're called. Uh, we have a number of parasitic protozoa, so these would be single-celled eukaryotes. Um, mycoses are caused by parasitic fungi. And then you have pathogenic bacteria and also the viruses, which are um, interacting with uh, host organisms as parasites. Another word that we use is infestations, and this tends to be limited to the ectoparasites and the worms, as well as the uh, parasitic protozoa and the helminths. And then we have simply infections, and usually we reserve that word uh, for pathogenic bacteria when you have a bacterial infection, um, or the viruses when you have a viral infection. And these guys, the pathogenic bacteria and the viruses together are pathogens. And these guys here, the protozoa, the uh, pathogenic fungi, along with the pathogenic bacteria and the, um, and the, uh, the viruses, those are the microorganisms. So there's a lot of different things, often relatively small, that can cause disease, but the ones that we usually, um, we traditionally will descri be describing as uh, microorganisms are just those. The helminths, though, often are considered, at least as an aside during microbiology courses, because they cause disease, and often you study them in ways that are similar to how you study microorganisms. But the helminths are animals, so technically they're not microorganisms. They're, they're big enough that they aren't considered to be microbes. <laughs>